Hey, what's going on, Bladers of the Crow? And here right now, I have the beautiful UX-01 Drawn Buster. This is the new UX line in the Beyblade X series. It's basically just like an evolution to the current X uh, line. So I believe this is uh, Ultimate X, and then BX is Basic X. Um, so yeah, I mean, this... This is just gorgeous. I love this box. I love the design. It is magnificent. So, uh, one little disclaimer though, I am once again in another hotel um, because I'm getting ready to move to uh, Okinawa. So, uh, right now I am currently in a hotel. So, sorry for the quality of this uh, video. I'm actually recording on my phone and going to be editing on the phone as well. Now, bringing this in much closer, I mean, Look, the art on this, oh, I love this packaging, like I mentioned. It's just, it is a very, very beautiful, like, simplistic design, and the colors are just popping. And as you can see right here, it is the Drawn Buster 1-60 Accelerator. So, brand new bit, we got a brand new ratchet, we got a brand new type of blade. This thing is going to be interesting, to say the least. And if we go up here, we can see that X is the one that is utilizing this blade. So basically his uh, new upgraded Beyblade. Uh, but yeah, it is going to be an attack type and a right rotating spin blade. And now for the blade, you can see it has immense high attack, but relatively low defense and endurance. Uh, but it basically is going to be a design that is specializing in knocking away opponents with a single blow with its large protruding attack power. So uh, with like the, lar the large areas that it has right here, I think it's probably talking about this one, um, sorry, this one protruding area. That's what the attacking, like, like the immense attacking point is going to be. Now for the ratchet, it is going to have that one point and then 60 height and immense attack power, 17 total. Uh, but pretty much durability is going to be like really low. Uh, but I mean, defense is relatively good. Uh, but basically, the point of this is to use a single blow for its attack performance. Now coming down to the accelerator bit, this thing is crazy. Once again, high attack power. It does have good dash as well with a 40. Uh, has really good burst resistance as well since it is going to be a, um, you know, uh, an attack type. They're going to have a m much greater burst resistance. Uh, but basically the uh, X dash performance has been enhanced that can combine a single shaft tip and large gear. Oh, that basically combines a single shaft tip and uh, large gear. So it's very, very round, large, and it basically enhances the, uh, the X-Dash capabilities. And here you're going to get a ripcord launcher. Now for the price, I paid uh, 1,780 yen, uh, but it is going for 1980, which is about $13 uh, USD. So I personally wouldn't pay more than like 20 bucks for this. Uh, hopefully in the US market, it is not going to be grossly overpriced on uh, you know, some of the you know, third uh, party sites. But hey, Hasbro's coming out pretty soon with their line. Hopefully this will hit the Hasbro market relatively soon. Now for the next release in April 27th, uh, basically is going to be uh, like, it's, it's like a dino. I don't really have um, the name memorized yet, but it is going to be a new dino and it's going to be a random booster and then uh, basically five other recolors of existing bays. So uh, not really too exciting. Uh, you know, it's like cool to get a dino, but i not very excited about uh, random boosters more often. I, I kind of just wish there were normal releases, but you know, it's kind of fun for a lot of people that like to, you know, get that adrenaline going. All right, let's also make sure that we scan the QR so that way we can have this registered inside our app. And there it is, the UX-01 looking beautiful. Getting those uh, all those points registered. There we go, 1980. And we are going to get that bonus 100 as well. Oh, let's... Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, look at look how beautiful. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, but yeah, uh, I love it. I'm excited. All right, guys, and here we are with the blade all up close and personal. Look, this this is gorgeous. I'm I am so so vibing 
with whatever they're trying to cook with the UX line. Uh, obviously, it's going to have that single point over here. But God, this is the motif. These like little crystal, like I don't know, if, I don't know what they're really supposed to be. Like they have the X etched in them, uh, but I don't know if it's supposed to represent like just a uh, foot of a dragon or something. Kind of looks like a foot with the uh, three toes over here, and then I guess like the back heel. Uh, so kind of just looks like a, like a foot. But man, I am just vibing with this. But I think this is just the sticker. There's no glass. Yeah, it kind of just seems like the sticker is now vulnerable. Not too sure how I feel about that, to be honest. Um, yeah, I kind of wish it was it was like a little you know, plate or something, something that was uh, like right over to protect it. But, you know, it, hopefully it, this really shouldn't get damaged. Um, but let's look at the underside real quick. Yeah, definitely change. It looks like it did change quite a bit for uh, for how the placement is of all the screws. But, yeah, this is crazy. I'm loving it. It's just like it, it's so like... I don't know. It, it, I don't know. It's a weird, weird design. The more I look at it, it's like it's so crazy. It's almost like a spaceship. Um, but yeah, I'm just loving all these points. It's it's relatively smooth, like in, in the sides over here. It's not it's not uh, very pointy. But I imagine during the rotation or the right rotation, you know, this is hopefully it protrudes uh, out enough, but it should like hit pretty hard, uh, even here on this side. So that. That's what I'm imagining. You know, they designed this for a reason uh, for you know, Mint's attack, and hopefully that is going to be delivering. But I'm loving this little X etch in right there at the bottom. Now here we are with the 160. So the one point is a massive one point, but it has this clear blue, and it's like two complexions. I love it. I love it. There's not much else to this. I mean, it's just a 60 height, uh, but the one. <laughs> The one point right there is just, uh, it, it's pretty crazy. And then here's the accelerator bit. So it's essentially a crazy, like, like low flat, I would say. Um, yeah, just like, it's a more intense low flat. I'm vibing with it, man. This is, this is beautiful. It's a little fatty right here. So, uh, pretty excited to see how this is going to perform, um, you know, the Phoenix right now is still, in my opinion, one of the best attackers in the game. So I'm wondering, the, you know, how the competition, the meta is going to shift uh, with bits like this and just the overall blades uh, like this. It, Phoenix to me is still the best looking Beyblade that they have ever produced in the X line so far. Uh, but performance wise, hey, we're going to see, man. We'll see how it uh, how it holds up. All right, guys, and here we have the completed Beyblade. And the point right here is just lined up to this point right here. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty cool. I guess this is the, uh, I don't know, I'm guessing this is the side that wants to make impact because it's going to have um, lower clearance over here. So it obviously doesn't want to hit the ratchet. So this is probably the main impact point. Um that's 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 my uh, my thoughts. So whenever it tries to like attack, it's not getting this caught up in it. I mean, it's weird, man. The whole thing is just really, really weird. But aesthetically, this looks absolutely beautiful. Just, I, I there's not enough words I can use to just describe how much I'm loving this. I'm not actually loving that uh, white coloring kind of showing through. It kind of, yeah. I don't know. It looks weird. I don't like that. But outside of that one little tiny issue, this is a very, very good blade. So, what else are we going to do? Let's go ahead and do some testing. Actually, I forgot. Before we do the testing, we do actually have a new uh, launcher. Um, yeah, basically just a ripcord launcher. It's going to be blue. That's not really much else going on with it. I mean, it looks, it looks exactly like every other. But uh, it's going to also have the blue ripcord. So, uh, pretty much going to be the same as every other ripcord. Nothing else is uh, is going on with this, but cool. I'll go ahead and uh, use this. Feels pretty. I don't know. Feels weird. Like it's a little uh, a little tough. 
but hey, we'll see how it works in uh in the performance. So we're gonna have a quick battle against the Hell Scythe, which is going to be on a gear needle. Uh, I think it's a 360. So yeah, just see the performance and uh, how it stacks up against a stamina type. Three, two, one, go shoot. Good, looking good, but the stamina got it. Three, two, one, go shoot! Mm. Oh, almost got it. Three, two, one, go shoot! Three, two, one, go shoot! Oh my god, it got the over finish on itself. Man. Three, two, one, go shoot! Wow! It basically just, you know, shot itself out of the arena. Uh, well, alright. So I don't really know what to say. I mean, I'm ripping them both simultaneously. Uh, this is my personal stamina build that, you know, I made myself. Uh, yeah, I mean, this thing has carried me through a lot of tournaments. Uh, so I don't know if it's just because like I built this really well or I'm doing something weird, but yeah, this really wasn't getting the edge on uh, on this guy. But hey, let's go ahead and uh, try something different. Here we're gonna pit it off against the Phoenix Wing, uh, which is basically gonna be a 560 and a gear point. Um, hopefully we'll get some good battles out of this one. I'm not really too certain, but uh, I mean, even comparing them right here that I have them both, I mean, it's, it's really like, uh, I don't know, I always have the favoritism with the wing because I just think it looks way more stylish. The colors are just popping. This, because it isn't painted, the metal is still just metal. And it's really, really dull, not actually like shiny or anything. Um, yeah, it doesn't really stick out as much as the uh, the Phoenix wing. But, I mean, still, you could tell like the it, pretty much the end of the or the peak of the BX line and the beginning of the UX. I mean, yeah, it, it's, it's pretty crazy. Three, two, one, go shoot. Ooh. Wow, looks like the Phoenix might, yep. Phoenix got it. Three, two, one, go shoot. All right, look at that. Come on, come on. No, it's not getting the edge, no. Mm. Three, two, one, go shoot. Uh, looks like it might have the edge on the Phoenix this time. Yep, so got it on the Phoenix this time. Three, two, one, go shoot. Oh, and that is an extreme finish for the Phoenix. So the drawing beat the Phoenix, but kind of on a technicality because uh, this did get an extreme finish on itself. But either way, I mean, I, th I think this is a fine enough um, bay. I just would love to do a lot of testing with it first uh, to really see like what like if this is really worth it. From what I'm seeing, mm, it's kind of gimmicky. I don't really see it being like the newest best attack type. It just seems like I mentioned gimmicky. This bit could replace the uh, the low flat in my opinion. I think it's I think it's pretty nice. Uh, might be a much better performing uh, low flat. The ratchet is really weird. Um, I'm wondering if that's going to see any kind of play, uh, perhaps on defense or stamina types more than attack types. But I mean, we'll see. Um, I, I don't know. Like it's it's weird, and people kind of do weird builds. So, uh, but the blade itself, I don't know, man. It could replace the uh, the drawn sword, maybe. But I don't know. So, for my final thoughts on this. It's, it's interesting, to be honest. I like the design of it. I think it looks really cool. Um, I haven't done enough play testing to really determine if it is going to be a viable attack type or if it's even replacing the current attack types in the BX line. Um, I mean, it's a good introduction to the UX, but I am definitely waiting to see what more of the UX line is going to be releasing in terms of, uh, of attack types. I really want something that's going to uh, you know, be a power creep that's going to surpass the Phoenix Wing because I love the Phoenix Wing, but I would love something that's even better than that. You know, Something that's going to shift the meta uh, just as much as the Phoenix Wing did. Um, that, I think that would just be really cool. Cool little addition. Uh, but really, 
I don't know. I, I can't really make a sound uh, judgment on this because I haven't play tested it uh, both against like in real life opponents, nor did I like do a lot of play testing by myself uh, with this bay. So I don't know, man. We'll see. I think it is a really, really cool looking one at least. So I do give it the props on the aesthetics department. Um, but yeah, I, th I think we're really just gonna have to uh, let time tell. Uh, when these next B4 tournaments come out, uh, we'll definitely see how well it does on those tournaments. And especially when the next, like, uh, I think it's like the, the G2 that's going to be coming up relatively soon. Uh, so when that one comes up and we see the placements for probably the top 10, we'll see if this has any um, any placement and what the Ratchet and Bit combo will be. But other than that, guys, do I think you should buy this? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's cool. It's uh, the first of the UX line, so... Uh, I recommend it. It's not too expensive, at least to me. It's thirteen bucks. Um, so, yeah, thirteen bucks for a really cool bay, and you get a launcher. Eh, can't really beat that price. But that's it for me, guys. Let me know in the comments section what you are thinking about this bay, and if this is something that you are looking at getting. Uh, and yeah, if if you have people around your area that's uh, also just as excited as you. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you're gonna be uh, copping this. That's it for me, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.